Immunometabolism, which focuses on how cellular metabolism plays a direct role in regulating immune cells, is an emerging field in recent years. Different immune cells can adopt distinct metabolic configurations to meet their energy requirements. And immune cell function is influenced by unique metabolic profiles. Here, let's take a look at the immunometabolism of T cells. There are significant differences in the immunometabolic configuration leading to different level of immunometabolic activity in naive, effector, and memory T cells, reflecting their specific function state. Naive T cells are largely in quiescent and surveillance condition, which have limited biosynthetic needs. They are mainly engaged in oxidative phosphorylation a process in mitochondria involving the oxidation of nutrients to produce ATP. In contrast, effector T cells need sufficient energy to undertake rapid growth, differentiation, proliferation, and the acquisition of effector functions such as cytokine secretion. This transition is related to mammalian target of rapamycin or mTOR which integrates growth or immune signals and regulates metabolism for biosynthesis. Effector T cells upregulate and heavily rely on aerobic glycolysis, which is the transformation of glucose to lactate in the presence of oxygen. During the process, glucose is the main nutrient for generation of biosynthetic precursors. For example, the glucose will undergo pentose phosphate pathway, or PPP, to produce nucleotides for DNA synthesis. Besides, effector T cells adopt glutaminolysis, which results in lipid synthesis. Then, memory T cells transition from aerobic glycolysis to oxidative phosphorylation, and also rely on fatty acid oxidation in mitochondria. They have increased mitochondrial mass and possess substantial mitochondrial respiratory capacity, enabling cell survival and rapid recall to antigen challenge. Besides cell intrinsic metabolic process, immunometabolism is also affected by extrinsic factors like disease, such as diabetes and cancer. So immunometabolism needs large-scale investigation to enclose its whole process and clinical application. Thank you for watching today's app learning. Have any questions? Feel free to contact us or leave your thought in the comment section. And welcome to follow us on our social media. Remember, knowledge is endless, so keep on learning.